Point Six investigates neighbor complaints near the University of Portland. They tell us they're sick of loud and unruly students, some even damaging their property just blocks away from campus. Thank you for watching Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Ann State. I'm Jeff Gianola. Tim Becker joins us now with what legal actions neighbors can take and how the University of Portland is responding tonight. Tim? Well, Jeff, first of all, we are talking about just a small percentage of the students who attend the university. But people who've lived in the area for a while tell me that group of students is creating some fairly big time stress and a hostile environment in their neighborhood. Some even tell me they're afraid to confront them. It's behavior like this and this hey, what you doing, bro? that has homeowners like yeah, Bev Keegbine. Yeah, he came up and he hit my fence here, broke the two by four behind it. At wit's end. I'm just tired of the crap. You know, the nonsense that goes on, the disrespect, the uh, no common courtesy whatsoever. She tells me the problem got so bad, she started keeping a video diary. Yeah, hey, what's the video for? Show the University of Portland what their students are really like. Her camera caught this group ripping out a street sign a couple of years ago. It's just, it's so frustrating, the crap that goes on. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Ozzy. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? You know, what's the point? This whole block here is college rentals. This was a renovation that was turned into uh, multi-student housing college house. This former police officer who has lived in University uh, Park since 1981 college. showed us how street after street are turning into havens for rental homes. Houses Get away. that are becoming home to more and more students and their parties. When that issue was a problem with one picker house on my street, I call the university time and time and time and time and time again. And each time they would come out and they'd leave and the behavior continued. And our students are respectful. They're good kids. Um, they actually listen to us. The vice president of university relations tells me the school's public safety office is diligent about responding to calls from neighbors, even in cases where the rental is not owned by the university. We just want our students to know that we expect them to really have a moral code and to really abide by that and also to respect the neighbors that we um, love to live by. And yet, <laughs> this continues to happen and neighbors tell me it's getting worse. The last two years have been really something else, yes. Now, I won't say that everybody's bad. They acknowledge most students behave. I know that they're not all that way. The majority of them are, are really, really great students, and we love to have them here. But they also tell me that the unruly and raucous minority <laughs> is a problem the school is simply not doing enough to fix. Why do they keep going back to the same house time and time and time again? Why are they getting called back to the same house time and time and time again? Several people I've spoken with said they get a sense that the university's in denial over this problem. Would you agree with that? I think the university has a wonderful public relations department. They feel like the university is in denial of any partying going on. Oh, no, I would say, you know, these are college kids. And um, so we know that there are things going on on the weekend and we do patrol and we make sure that they're, you know, not loud, that they're, um, you know, being respectful of the neighbors. Walking here, urinating. Just try um, telling that to Bev. The they have threatened to kill me, to kill my daughter, to burn my house down. Um, to, and that was recorded on a 911 call. Oh, now you're calling me a Mom, you need to talk to me. I'm sorry, but they're threatening me, my oh, daughter, and my granddaughter. You guys are confronting them. Stop. Now they're running down to, towards Hodge Park. She had to call police in August after her daughter confronted a student who was damaging Bev's fence. They pushed my daughter while they were hold, while she was holding my granddaughter in her arms, and that drew the line for me. The university safety officer went over and fixed a woman's fence after a student, she said, broke it. Why aren't the students held accountable? Well, if we knew which students um, committed any damage, we would definitely have them doing the work. So in that case, um, you know, we, we took care of it because we weren't sure what the student was that did that. We thought we got rid of them, but now it's back. It's back. David Clore says he saw a wandering pack of students like this one we videotaped on a recent Friday night that he says egged his car. 
and scratched the paint job on an SUV just given to his girlfriend by her mother. She just died and and Bob just inherited it and just broke her heart. I could feel her in it. I could still feel her in that car. And what a disgrace, you know? What a disgrace. Trouble is, they can't identify exactly who did the damage, which is why Bev Keegbine plans to keep her camera rolling. Are you videotaping us? Sure am. Until something is done to stop it. I think that the only way we're going to get the response is by this story. Well, the Neighborhood Association is meeting again later this month to talk more about the problem. We'll, of course, be there when that happens and let you know what their next move is. And wow, Tim. Thank you so much. And if you have a story that you want us to investigate, something like this, our tip line is on your screen, 503-464-0861, or send us an email to report it at coin.com.